But uh, j just to elaborate what I was saying, it's that if Ellie doesn't know what Joel did, it makes her mission feel more like justice. If all she knows is, oh, these people came and murdered Joel and now I'm going to kill them. It makes this crusade she's on feel a bit more noble. But because she knows, we find out later that she knows what Joel did to the Fireflies. She should be able to see their point of view if she doesn't care. Nor do we, because we see their point of view. We've been on this experience with these characters, but. You know, she should be able to look at their perspective and, and at least get why they did it. Okay, and we're back. Sorry, I ordered food and it was late. <laughs> so now I'm waiting for them to re... What, what food tie-in should we get for, for The Last of Us? Uh, what restaurant do you think should sponsor The Last of Us and do a, a food gimmick? Um... Hmm... I mean, the obvious answer is coffee, right? Well, true. I was thinking something grosser and more gimmicky. Like, clicker-looking chili or something. Damn, Uber Eats. Yeah, I know, right? It's because I live in a trailer park, and for some reason they can never find the right trailer. How could you keep something like that? <laughs> And now we're in the theater, which is a location with we spend a, a lot of time in this With place. an alligator and a crocodile. It's old. Still, <laughs> better be careful. Honestly, you could do like, uh, you could do one of those like gross pizzas, like in Nightmare on Elm Street 5. Just call yeah. it a fungus pizza. <laughs> I think it's five. I, I get four and five mixed up constantly. I don't know which uh... one's which. They both suck. <laughs> I think four. No, well, you might be right. I think four has the pizza, but they're basically the same movie. I yeah. uh, four is very frustrating. Four kind of pisses me off just as a sequel to Dream Warriors. Oh, it's I think it does a terrible wrong. sequel. Yeah, here's all when... these characters you cared about. Well, they're dead now. Yeah, they're all dead in the first ten minutes. Uh. There are a couple things I like about four and there's some things I like about five. That's where you get in the series. Where it's like, man, I wish I could just take like the bits I like in four to five and just like mush them together into a pretty good nightmare movie. But as is, n neither are very good. Yeah. Once... Though, I mean, I was. Oh, go ahead. Oh, that's funny, though. I, I didn't realize that uh, Subway sponsored Uncharted 3. I miss that. You don't remember those commercials? Even I remember those, and I wasn't playing Uncharted at the time. Yeah, neither was I. I, I, I do not remember these. Well, I'll have to send you one. But yeah, I don't know. At least based on, on first viewing, I was that one asshole uh, who watched Nightmare 5, and I was like, do I like this more than 4? I think I do, but I know that's super unpopular because everyone loves 4. Except for us, I guess. I mean, everybody also loves the Halloween sequels. That's true. Got it. I don't know. I just give five credit for doing a couple of new things and kind of going in its own direction and not just being a rehash. Like one of them ways. has a cool cockroach kill. That's the only thing I will give one of them because it's the only thing I remember. That's four. Is that four? Yeah. And my problem with four is like, okay, so we just kill off all the Dream Warriors in the first 15 minutes, and then the rest of the movie is just another nightmare movie where you're introduced to a bunch of new characters who don't know what's going on and then watch them figure it out and get killed off. Like, it's the same freaking movie. And at least with five, we're following a protagonist who at least knows what's going on, like the whole movie. Um, it's not good, but I at least give five credit. And they do a couple interesting things with her. 
But five also has some really stupid sequences. And four and five are easy to confuse just because they do have the same lead and have very similar tone and style. Four just bugs me more since it's more of a, just a rehash of the previous ones. Give me one second here, sorry. It's all good. Nathan Drake. Uncharted is fun. Yeah, screw I, that guy. <laughs> I, I hope they find a role for uh, Nolan North in Last of Us Season 2. G give him a fun one-episode role. Because, you know, I mean, he was in the first Last of Us game, so... If they used him well, I think that could be a fun guest actor. Like, I, I know he had a cameo in that Uncharted movie, which is nice, but... I've also heard that movie wasn't good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, uh, we don't agree on that, Noah. I, I legitimately like Nightmare 2. I definitely prefer 2 over 4 and 5. 2 also sucks. 2 is boring. That's its biggest problem. Yeah, would, it's slow. I would also rather watch 4 and 5. 2 is my least favorite sequel. Really? I... There are some great sequences in two that, that I really love. I, I also like that Freddy's scary in that one uh, before he's joke. Uh, two has one of my favorite like transformation sequences in any movie. Uh, the two mm. two has some big highlights for me. I also give credit to credit for doing something different and not being just a rehash. Uh, it is but the slow. problem it's is it completely it. misunderstands what's cool about Freddy. You have this uh, guy who's cool in the dream world because he can do cool and fantastical things. And then immediately is like, oh, let's put him in the real world. Yeah, that sequence is great. I mean, that also is like one sequence in the movie. Like, it, it breaks the lore a little bit, but I don't care. I think 2 has a scary... I like the I, the main conceit of 2 a lot, where the first one is about having nightmares and this guy killing you in your dream, or if, you know, if you die in the dream, you die for real. The sequel is, well, what if we had a character who was sleepwalking and being inhabited by Freddy in his dreams and killing other... Like, I actually think that concepts... I personally find that concept scarier. And I think that's a cool way to do the sequel. Uh, I like that concept a lot. Uh, fair enough. All right. There, there's two things that slasher movie can do that makes me hate it: have lame kills and be boring. And two has both of those. Because Freddy just yeah, has a glove, so he can't really. And when you put him in the real world, he can't do anything. It's dumb. Yeah, that's right. that, that, there's still some really good visuals in that. Like, like I said, the sequence in the third act oh, when boy. he uh, takes over our protagonist's body is a really fantastic transformation sequence. And I like that Freddy's like <laughs> scary in that movie. It's the last time you really get an intense portrayal <laughs> of Freddy from Robert England. Three, you get a mix. Three, three you get a mix. Three you mixes it, funny. but it's still legitimately scary. Yeah. Oh god, this fucking guitar. I have PTSD from the Final Fantasy VII piano bits. <laughs> oh wait, this is just a cutscene, I think. Yes, the later sequels do have better kills. If Six had a better third act, it would be... Six, six is probably my least favorite. There's a couple good ones. If, if six kept the same energy that it has for the first half and the third and the second half, it would be my favorite Bad Nightmare sequel. <laughs> yeah, also, what are you saying it's the only scary Freddy when New Nightmare exists? 
Well, I'm talking about like the original canon. I actually like New Nightmare a lot. That's one of my favorites. Uh, I just meant like of the hey, first six he things he's Freddy. That counts. New New Nightmare is obviously its own thing. It's awesome. We still gotta cover that. Yeah. Well, I guess it's good time as any to ask. Uh, how, how much Nightmare on Elm Street have you covered on the channel? Just the first movie. Yeah. Well, this year is the 40th anniversary of it. If you want to do a commentary at some point, we should do Since that. Since you reviewed yeah. it already. Just need to build up your calluses. That's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Is it? Yeah. Oh shit. Here's your favorite flashback. I love the sequence. This is the highlight of the game for me. This, this is my favorite sequence of the whole game. Nice. I'm just hoping this remaster means this game is coming to PC soon. Uh, so I would I would rank them three, seven, one, six, four, and five are on the same level. I don't care. And then two. Anyway, what were you saying? Yeah, the two ranks somewhere in the middle for me. There, there's a lot I like. Two. I got it. Yeah, we do, uh, Torgo. Or at least just do. That's what we should do for the anniversary. Is we'll do a ranking. <laughs> God damn! Look at that mo that character model. What is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. Love it. Yeah, um, I assume this will make its way to PC, though. They might. Yeah, keep laughing. Maybe they'll take longer with it. They probably will, considering the first one was an utter disaster. Yeah, has that even been fully fixed yet? Yeah. The problem was that they didn't get uh, Nixus Studios to do it. I think Naughty Dog did it in house. Uh, and they're not a PC studio. Gotcha. Oh, Noah, you just like broke my brain. It's the best one. Yeah. See it. Dream Warriors is really great. It's in my top three for sure. Like... I love Dream Warriors. <laughs> How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in. Is I'm it? also not like a diehard well, Nightmare on Elm Street fan. I, I like some of them. This part anyway. uh, I, I appreciate I it, but it, it's You're by no means like my favorite franchise. Me neither. It's in terms of the big slasher franchise, like franchises. It's number three for me. Yeah, I'd put it at three or four. It's definitely a better franchise than. Uh, like, as an overall franchise, I, I put it above both Halloween and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Yeah, I got this. So, for my top three slasher franchise, as a franchise, would be Friday is number one, Chucky is number two, Chucky's very good, and then Nightmare is at three, Halloween is at four, and Texas is at five. Again, that's just his franchises. My sixth grade history teacher I mean, Scream's probably my personal favorite. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about, and then, I, I forgot about Scream. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I personally put Scream above Friday the Thirteenth, but I'm obviously going for to those movies for different things. <laughs> yeah, um, and, and I, I don't think any Friday the Thirteenth movies as good as the first Scream, but you know, I, I love both those franchises. I would put Scream at number three, actually, and then bump Nightmare down to four. Yeah, that's fair. The thing with Scream is those first four movies are brilliant, but in my opinion, a satire or deconstruction just isn't better than the original, even if on a quality level, a movie is better than the other movie. I think... And I grew up with Friday. Think... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got into... <laughs> Friday pretty late, but now it's one of my favorites. So oh, man. I saw Jason X when I was, like, 12, and I was like, this is the greatest thing I have ever yeah. seen. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. You just liked the but, like, the tenth it, uh, scene <laughs> in Jason X. <laughs> no. uh, I want to do a Jason X commentary. That would be so oh, much be fun. fun. We, uh, I have it marked on my calendar. I think this September, uh, we have an actual Friday the 13th. So, we, we, have, we have to do something that day. Yeah. We can't blow it. <laughs> and not review Burial 2 or whatever. Uh, Scream has two bad movies, actually. Holy shit. We've disagreed on that. I, I like five and Yeah, because you're wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I like Scream. I enjoy doing? Scream Three, but I, I like, be, be careful. when it's bad, it's Why really bad. Dinosaur? There are yeah, major problems. That. Don't die Scream off. Three is flawed, Look at me. but there's oh, things I like about dinosaur! it. Five, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. five. I don't think it's a oh, bad no. movie, but it's just it's oh, that syndrome God. of I'm so tired of this formula. I mean, that's fair. And not even the Scream formula, just the deck, like, requel, as they call them. See, uh, yeah, we did a part yeah. six commentary last year on a Friday the 13th, because yeah. part six is is the best oh, Friday movie. Awesome. It's awesome that you didn't break anything. Uh, part, part, part four is my favorite, but six is great. I accept four as, as, a, as best as well. I, I won't argue with anyone that What's six this? is like the best film. Uh, it's a book. Like as far as just like quality <sighs> goes, so but okay. four is just my jam. But six is great. Okay. One second here. Yeah, that that's what hurts Scream Three for me, even though I like a lot of it, is it has one of the worst killer reveals. It it not only has one of the worst killer reviews. But it also retcons the first movie, and I hate that. Thanks for waiting, everybody. Yeah, uh, no Noah's just been crapping on Predator 2 the whole time. Noah's wrong. As usual. Hmm. I don't know if anything but the first one counts as horror, horror for Godzilla. Maybe Shin Godzilla in minus one. <laughs> yeah. Or at least, like, or horror adjacent. <clears throat> it's welcome to Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. Love the sequence. Uh, love these character interactions. Uh, Imagine the poops. If you talk about the little compy dinosaurs, uh, Joel references Jurassic Park two and not being a fan of it. So, even the majority opinion, even though we disagree. name means chicken mimic. What's false? I, who names these? Scientist. Well, they're dumb. <laughs> well, they're dumb. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. <laughs> it's an apex predator. I mean, badass. you're welcome to your wrong opinion. I'm pretty short for that. <laughs> Wait, were you talking about me? You're not gonna Sit grab the hat. Means three horned face. You oh, walked past the hat. I did? Yeah. There's another one in this room, but I don't know if they like <laughs> pick it up if you didn't pick up the first one. I'm not seeing it. No, it's in like the first room by the door on the right. It's the rack. When you first enter the museum. Oh. Uh -huh. I also give you credit for climbing the T-Rex and jumping off of that, because that's a great moment that a lot of people miss. 
Yeah, you gotta climb on everything. I'm not overly worried about the hat. Yeah, it's fine. This is a sequence you can get through pretty quickly if you just walk past all the <coughs> little Easter eggs and stuff. Yeah. Velociraptor. So slow. I guess you can't trust the movies. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. No, you don't. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Did you go to museums a lot? Here. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl. At least this game is more historically accurate with its portrayal of dinosaurs than Jurassic Park was. Yeah, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Looky there, it's Mr. Day and I. We got a dinosaur in here. <gasps> Did you know this was here? I love her pure excitement. Um, we can head back. <laughs> oh, shut up. Yeah, this is like the most fun hey, can you name all the childish players? Ellie you get in, the, in this game. My very educated mother just served us. Her, her love of space travel, I, I find really is infectious. Mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. I used to uh, love the museum edge. here. But I haven't been there in probably 10 years. More than that. Oh, yeah. I haven't been to a museum in ages. I remember enjoying uh, some school field trips well enough when I was a kid. It wouldn't let you climb on stuff and touch stuff, though, so that was kind of lame. Ellie has, like, the best ideal experience. There's no stupid people around <laughs> ruin every ruining everything. She's allowed to mess with stuff. This is, like, the ideal best museum experience you could possibly have. I cannot remember a single school field trip that I liked. Well, that's not like true. I like game. I like when we went to DC. <laughs> I got this really cool uh, like collection of books. It was three in one. It was Stephen King's first three books. Ooh, nice! That's how I first read The Shining. Watch your head. That's awesome. This sequence is great and also makes me claustrophobic. Where I'm like, oh god, don't get locked in here. Oh, dude. This is horrifying. You could not pay me to climb into one of these things. <laughs> I, I just, my head cannon is like, okay, Tommy, if we're not back in a day, come find us. This is probably where we'll be. Because <laughs> I think this is a really bad idea. But it makes for a beautiful moment. Could you imagine just... <laughs> I never had a night at the museum experience. If everything came alive, that would be awesome. Or terrifying. Yeah. I would Speaking like to see the inanimate... horror movie version of that. That would be awesome. Being of inanimate objects coming to life, do you remember the Indian in the cupboard? Yes, that's like... I feel like that's officially over. It was like a 90s kid thing that bled over into the 2000s. And I feel like that's something I'm going to guess they don't show in schools anymore. Would be my. But they showed that in school. Close your eyes. Yeah, when I was a kid. Oh. Well, see, I'm that's old how, enough that I, I had the VHS tape and I watched it with my own free will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a popular '90s kids movie, and now now it feels like something completely forgotten about. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I haven't seen it in like. Yeah, I don't know how that holds up. Years. <laughs> I'm kind of. That's yeah. one of those I'm kind of scared to revisit. I don't remember if that was based on a book. It is, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's in school we probably read the book and then watched the movie because I definitely watched that in school. 
It's the most boringest movie ever made. Uh, does it not... Did you not like it as a kid, or did you go back to it and it didn't hold up? Well, I... Growing up, I... That was just that genre of 90s movies where you it, it would just be tiny people in big environments and you'd have big <laughs> fun props and sets like the the borrowers was my jam when i was a little kid did you ever watch that i don't think i've seen that no yeah i don't know if that holds up i haven't seen that in over 15 years but i loved it when i was a kid yeah the borrowers that's why i'm like more critical of the ant-man movies than more people are because everything's just cgi and on green screen i'm like put people on big fun interesting sets and have props <laughs> like that's what makes the shrinking gimmick fun oh it's uh, not streaming oh okay so you didn't even like it as a kid that's fair and uh i i have seen uh incredible shrinking man though that's a good movie that's a good b movie i haven't seen that um my my jams as a kid was indian in the cupboard et um jumanji <laughs> Jumanji's great. Uh, the Gumby movie. Maybe, uh, keep looking around. Never saw that one. It's weird. Yeah, I guess. I always forget that exists because I know Jenny. I barely know anything about Gumby as it is. That's something I just missed growing up. And then now it's like, oh, there's a Gumby movie too, I guess. Like, the course. only thing I know about Gumby is the movie. Um, And then, you know, like the stuff that... Like the anime that was popular at the time, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Digimon. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we got a pen. Oh. Woo. oh, and of course, uh, if we're talking about like just tiny people in uh, movies, uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids was another one yeah. I really liked when I was a kid. So, see, that I don't know that movie very well. I know I've seen it. But the one I had on VHS tape was... Or no, wait. Which one did you say? Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh, no. Okay. No, I had that one. But I, I never had Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves uh, on the VHS. Third. I... No, that's the yeah, second I've... one. That's... Yeah, I never checked no, the that. second one's Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. Well, let's go. I thought that Which was the third one. You plan on getting I'm pretty sure that's the second one. Which isn't as funny as the title suggests. That's the See, one about the giant baby. No, I know. See, as a kid, that was my favorite one, but I didn't own it. Uh, okay, gotcha. Get yeah, I never here. saw the sequels. I just saw the first one on TV when I was a kid, but okay. it definitely made an impression. I also saw the uh, a couple times. I think it was at Disney, the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids like 3D experience. Did you ever go to that? No, I, I don't that go was... to theme parks. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Uh, there is a sequel called Honey, I Blew Up the Baby, but it's... it's not I Blew the... Why would it be called that? <laughs> hey, who's being there? No, I saw the wrong version. I'll open the door for oh, you. no. Um... Oh, and then I like... And, you know, some other... Like, I love Flubber. We'll never go back to it. I don't want it. I don't want it yeah. to be awful. Oh, I'm in the same boat. I have. I remember watching that movie when I was like six. I didn't own it on VHS. I think we recorded it off of TV. Ah, uh, the good uh, old I boys, watched right? it a couple times. Yeah, but God, that I haven't seen in at least twenty years. And I don't um, really want to go back to it. And then I wa I loved Inspector Gadget, the Broderick one. But yeah, me too. I went back That's to that when I was a little bit older. Does not. No, it's no. awful. I was like, oh, this is sad. That's why I won't rewatch uh, Flubber. <laughs> yeah. I love Robin Williams, but I'll just watch Jumanji instead. That movie, in my opinion, does hold up. It does. And Maybe not effects-wise, but, you know. Well, it had a reputation for a while of, oh, Jumanji, the CGI is so terrible. And it is. But that's like five minutes of the movie. All of the practical effects are pretty awesome for the most part. The crocodile sequence is great. Uh, the house just getting demolished over the course of that movie is really fun. Yeah, and it's and it's legitimately funny and scary. Yeah, and that's why critics didn't like it. They were like, oh, this is too dark and intense for children. It's like, no, that's why this is effective. See, <laughs> that's I... That's why kids like this. 
I had that on VHS tape as well, uh, Austin, and I thought it was awful. Uh, Austin, ha Austin, how would you say you feel about the Hannibal Lecter franchise? Like, every movie. Are, are there any you straight up don't like? Because, I mean, Hannibal Rising, most people consider the worst one. I, I've never seen that one. I liked but it when besides I Besides Hannibal it, Rising. Yeah. yeah. Candyman 2 isn't that bad. There's some good stuff in it. But, I mean, it's obviously a big step down from the first one. Like, it's not a good sequel. There's just some okay things about it. I imagine I it's, it's just worth watching for Tony Todd. Yeah, for sure. That's the reason to watch it. And I've never seen the third one, which is considered pretty bad. I can't count on that. And the newest Candyman movie I thought was pretty good. There's a lot I like oh, in it, but it, there, there's major problems with it, for sure. Um, but I love the direction. I love the cinematography. Um, there's good stuff. It's just that script had some major issues. The show is so good. Okay, game, where do you want me to go? Oh, here we go. Yeah, Hannibal has come back, the second movie has come back around to getting some reappraisal, but I've never actually watched that for myself start to finish. It's very divisive. Some people love it, some people hate it. And Red Dragon's pretty good. And I like Manhunter. I need to go through those again. I've read the books, like, probably 15 years ago. Yeah. Well, Hannibal also has the problem of you can't really do a faithful adaptation of that book that people are going to like. Why? Because because how divisive that book was. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and I know people hated the ending. The only thing I remember from the movie is when that guy served his own brains. Yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I've seen bits and pieces of it. I'm in here. But yeah, the, the show is considered pretty great and heartbreaking that they can't continue. It's like, was it? if they can just get the show back and announce a new season, then I'll sit down and watch all of it. Because I've uh, heard it's very good. The, I, so I've only I've seen the first two seasons. That is the first show that has hooked me enough that I binged all of it in like two days. Fire going before it gets too dark. Yeah, I think my sister watched the first season. I remember her watching it. Yeah, I have only heard good things, and it sucks that it got canceled. Yep, fuck you, NBC.